Hello, in this video we're going to look at a property of well-behaved consumer preferences. So consumer axiom here is that indifference curves display diminishing marginal rates of substitution and that implies consumers prefer an average bundle to extreme bundles. Means indifference curves bound strictly convex sets. So let's do an example. Consider the following utility function. Utility equals x times y. Bundle A consists of one unit of x and ten units of y. So the total utility here, plugging those values in the utility function, is ten. And bundle B contains ten units of x and one unit of y. And this also gives utility of ten. So both bundle A and bundle B are in the same indifference curve. So with convex preferences, the argument is that the consumer would prefer an average bundle to these extreme bundles. So the consumer prefers an average bundle that contains, say, 5.5 units of x and 5.5 units of y. How did I get these 5.5? So for x, 1 plus 10 is 11. Divide it by 2, we get 5.5. So that's the average units of x in bundle A and bundle B. And then the average units of good y, same thing, 10 plus 1 is 11. Dividing through by 2 is 5.5. And if we're to plug this bundle into the utility function, the consumer gets a higher level of utility. This is preferred. This average bundle is, afford, is preferred to these extreme bundles. We have two bundles, bundle A and bundle B, with convex preferences. The following will be true. So basically, any weighted average here of bundle A and bundle B will be preferred to the extreme bundles, bundle A or bundle B. And since they're on the same indifference curve, we just set UA equal to UB here. So again, the above statement here is going to be true for any weighted average where alpha is between 0 and 1. In the previous slide, we set alpha equal to 1 half. All right, so let's try alpha equals 0 0.2. So take bundle A, which was 1 in 10, and now multiplying 0.2 times 1, we get 0 0.2, and 0.2 times 10, and then let's take the 1 minus alpha and multiply that by what's in bundle B. So 1 minus alpha, where alpha is 0.2, is going to be 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 times 10 is 8, and 0 0.8 times 1 is 0 0.8. And now we do the math here, just adding these values up. 0 0.2 plus 8 is 8.2, and 2 plus 0 0.8 is 2.8. Plugging that into our utility function, Again, the, this weighted average provides more utility than the, extreme, than the extreme bundle at A or bundle B. And just to look at this graphically here, uh, we have an indifference curve going through bundle A, one unit of X, 10 units of Y, and bundle B, one unit of Y, 10 units of X. And if we connect a straight line between those points, any weighted average of bundle A and B is going to fall on this line here. And any point that falls on this line would coincide with a higher indifference curve. Okay, I'll stop here.